local 10 news starts right now. And off the top at 4 o'clock today, we now know who will be joining former President Donald Trump on his ticket. Ohio Senator J.D. Vance announced as the vice presidential pick as Trump also wins the Republican nomination. Our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy joined the list of Florida judge dismissing the charges. Two major developments just days after the former president survived an assassination attempt. We have live team coverage. We begin with our D.C. Bureau Chief Ben Kennedy live at the White House with a closer look at who Trump has chosen as his running mate. Here in Florida, a federal judge deciding to dismiss Trump's classified documents case, taking aim at the prosecutor who filed the charges. Local 10's Roy Ramos live now in Palm Beach with a ruling today. Developing right now, we are learning new information about the man behind the assassination attempt on former President Trump as the FBI searches for a motive. Local 10's Andrew Perez continues our team coverage live from the newsroom. Andrew. The shooter was only 20 years old, Nicole. The FBI picking apart his internet history right now, even canvassing local gun shops. Authorities say at this point they don't even have any sort of... Authorities say Comprator died a hero, protecting, protecting his family. Meanwhile, we have learned that Crooks told his father on Saturday that he was headed to the shooting range. We are learning more than two dozen arrests were made following the crowd chaos at Copa America Sunday at Hard Rock Stadium. And among those arrested, the head of the Colombian Football Federation, local 10, Janine Stan, with us live now from the stadium with the new details. Janine. Calvin, they under a heat advisory. The humidity making it feel like another scorcher. Some areas even saw some passing showers. Our chief certified meteorologist Betty Davis is here now to fill us in, Betty. But not nearly enough rainfall to have a dramatic cool down over the area. We have seen these numbers, the heat index topping 100 in so many places today, including the Keys, where uh, we have a heat index that shot up to 104 between the noon and two o'clock hours. And then right now it's feeling like 102 degrees. And then check out Miami-Dade and Broward. Pembroke Pines feels like 100, while Miami and Fort Lauderdale are feeling its act together. And with that, let's bring in our hurricane specialist and storm surge expert, Michael Lowry. Michael, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of in relaxation mode as it relates to the tropics right now. Yeah, Betty, July is kind of the ultimate head fake from... A lot of different kind of dust has cleared here in our <laughs> studio. You may have noticed uh, things have looked a little differently around here lately, and they really look different today. And that's because for the past six weeks, we've been working from a temporary studio and a temporary news set, while what you see here was under construction. Take a look. Well, you just watched about six weeks of work and to unveil our new home, a very technologically advanced new set and oh, yeah. video wall. Nearly 900 LED panels make up this massive 60 foot long digital wall. The graphics driven by five computers, the newest technology to bring you sharp, big and bold video and graphics. And thanks, of course, for hanging with us during this transition while we were working in our temporary set. And we look forward to test driving this new venue. And hang with us, too, as we test drive our new yes. toy. We may have a few kinks in it every now First and then. First day. <laughs> we'll get it right. Yeah. But we move on here. The FBI canvassing local gun shops reportedly paid a hacker a ransom of about $370,000 to delete the data. Bloomberg and Wired say they spoke with a hacker who claims to have received the now to the weather. If you are heading outside, it is very hot out. Very hot. Stay hydrated. Let's check it out with our Betty Davis and find out how the evening is looking. Hey, Betty. Hey, guys, that advice, we just take it through the rest of the summer because we don't have anything out there happening right now to knock the warmth off other than the fact that the sun is going to set. But in terms of a uh, big switch in the wind direction or or a uh, big time. All right, Betty, a roller coaster of emotions for Lionel Messi and Art and Sports with Clay Ferraro. Lionel Messi with a moment of glory, raising the Copa America Championship trophy after Argentina completed that victory over Colombia last night, but it didn't come easy for Metri Messi or his squad. With plenty to watch today, both from their star captain, Bam Adebayo, and from younger players who are participating in Summer League. Let's love him. And finally, how cool is this? the Hockey Hall of Fame releasing this time-lapse video. You know, the question was always for a lot of people that cut went through so much 
beer, a little pasta, mm -hmm. a little ocean action too. Uh. <laughs> well, uh, today you had Bill Zito, the GM, out there fishing with it, and he actually had a dolphin, <laughs> not a you know, not a flipper, but like a dolphin fish, right there in the cup with him. So uh, yeah, a lot but of two different cups. Se several cups. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. well, and and the big yeah. one they got their names on this past yeah. weekend, really cool. That's it. All right. We thank you for watching. We'll see you again tonight, 11 o'clock. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see you later. Now back here to South Florida, abrupt ruling a federal judge dismissing former President Trump's classified documents case here in Florida. It's a major legal victory for the Republican presidential nominee. When we are learning new details today about the assassination attempt on former President Trump. The investigation into the deadly shooting at the rally is deepening as the FBI releases more about the suspect. Local 10's Andrew Perez is following it all and has the latest from the newsroom. Andrew. That's right. FBI agents are fanning out at this hour. At the Thanks a lot. We're following breaking news out of Tebas case. Police say a body was found in the water. Let's get right to Local 10's Annalise Garcia live with the late breaking details. And turning now to the Copa chaos. A shocking sight after soccer fans storm the Hard Rock Stadium to watch Argentina take on Colombia with or without tickets. On the move, our Betty Davis here now with everything we all need to know. Betty. It sounds like mid-July is in full effect. Feels like it too. We have these heat index values over 100 this afternoon around the 1 o'clock hour. Key West 104. That is what it felt like. Currently, it feels like 103, while Miami has a feels like temperature of 99, just like Fort Lauderdale and Pembroke Pines. An hour ago, you were at 104. Now you're at 100. Bottom line, it is hot, and we've got more hot weather. It's a lot of hit and run crash caught on camera. A driver barreling down I-4 in Orange County when that person struck an SUV. And it caused that vehicle to swerve off the road and flip. Christy's in the newsroom with a closer look at the video. Christy. Well, FHP troopers are now searching for three people believed to be involved in this hit and run. Dash cam. The rest of the Heat Summer League squad will be in action again tonight, just about a half hour from now when they take on Oklahoma City out in Vegas, guys. Young guys looking to land a contract, huh? Yeah, no doubt about that, and they're doing a really good job of it. Man, Khalil Ware making some, some nice impressions yeah. early on in addition to Hakez. Uh, I like nice. Hyman. He's yeah. good. He's very good. Yeah, yeah. thanks, Dr. Thanks, Clay. Thanks, All right, that'll do it for the news at 5 o'clock. And here's what we're working on for you now at the bottom. Starts right now. Right now at 5.30, a driver going on a crash course, slamming right into a fast food restaurant. And video you saw right here first on 10 showing the moment that driver allegedly tries to take off from the scene. Local 10's Alex Sinney is joining us live from Miami with a closer look. Alex? And as you can imagine, there were some major security concerns, and now many are wondering how all of this could have even happened in the first place. Local 10's Leanne Marhone is joining us live. She's outside Hard Rock Stadium now with hopefully some answers. Christina, thank you. We do have some breaking news we want to bring you. Special Counsel Jack Smith intends to appeal the dismissal of the classified documents case against former President Trump, a federal judge right here in Florida, rehab facility in Fort Lauderdale, and now more than about 60 residents are displaced. Local From all of our weather cameras right now, another hot day here in South Florida. A heat advisory about to be finally let go as we near the six o'clock hour. We'll let you know what the rest of the week looks like when we talk to Betty on the other side of the break. Data breach at AT&T. The company reportedly paid a hacker a ransom of about $370,000 to delete the data. Bloomberg and Wired say they spoke with a hacker who claims to have received the payment.